yesterday so that their tomorrow will produce a slave. Well, what do we need to eat today that will aid and assist us into becoming a God we're born to be tomorrow? The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad says, virtually all fruits are good, most vegetables, and he names a few that we should not eat. He mentions cauliflower as a very, very fine vegetable. He said we should eat whole wheat bread, and we should eat pure milk, and if we buy it from the dairy farmer, no matter what the dairy farmer calls it as raw, organic, pure, whatever they say, he said we should still boil it and then chill it to drink. And then he added something to the list of what it takes in the diet of God. It's the superfood of all superfoods. There was a time whenever the, the prophet Daniel was in prison, according to the book of Daniel, chapter 1 and 11. And while he was in prison, the king had made a rule that everyone in the jail had to eat what was called the king's meat and wine. And Daniel said that he refused. I'm not eating no pork chops. I don't want no king's meat. And the God said, well, if you don't eat it and, you, and he comes and checks and you all don't look like the rest of the young men here, then, then he will take my head. So Daniel made a deal. He said, you can give the ones that want it the king's meat for 10 days. But for me and my Nation of Islam study group. What? He had a, it wasn't a lot of soldiers with him yet. He had Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, better known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But while he had it in his study group, he said, all we want is pulse and water for 10 days. After the trial run was done, and those that ate the king's meat versus Daniel and his study group, when they came to analyze them, they said that Daniel and his crew looked healthier, their skin was brighter, their health, their face was healthier, and they looked like they had more vitality than the rest of the group, so they bowed and let them continue to eat it. Do you know, sisters and brothers, that the word pulse is an ancient term for the small navy bean? All oh, praise is due to Allah. It is the superfood of all superfoods. This navy bean, and I thank Allah for my brother Tariq Muhammad, a biomedical scientist of ours, that sent me some facts, some evidence. Can I tell you just a real quick self-development secret? Whatever God says to do that we're struggling with doing, study it and find more evidence on the benefits of doing it. And whatever God says do not do that we are still tempted by, study the consequences of it. And the more you learn about the reward and the benefit, the easier it is to do a hard good. And the more we learn about the consequences and repercussions, the, the, the easier it is to resist a, a, a bad thing that we might even like. It's something about knowledge. It's something about evidence on a particular thing that gives your mind a little more power. It's, it's, your, your why power begins to strengthen your willpower. The more evidence, the more why you have in your system. So when he sent this evidence, I said, we got to share this today. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. He said and showed that the reason that they call it the Navy Bean is because it was used as a staple 
in the U.S. Navy during World War II when they were dropping nuclear and atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they used the Navy beam to protect them from radiation. The soldiers consumed the Navy beam because it had the ability to protect them from radiation because of its pure form of iron that's found in the Navy beam. When you go to the dentist or the orthodontist, to get an x-ray on your teeth, the assistant always will lay a jacket on you. Inside the jacket, it's infused with lead. The lead in the jacket is designed to protect you from the intense radiation that they're using during the x-ray. Well, the iron that's found in the navy bean is not it's, it's made by God put in the Navy beam as a method to protect us from the radiation of the planet. The Navy beam also contains all nine essential amino acids. Essential meaning they must be obtained through proper nutrition and are not naturally produced in the human body. Some of these amino ap uh, acids are tryptophan, which is used by the body to make melatonin and serotonin, which controls sleep, mood, and other things. Another amino acid is lysine, which is needed for the body to produce collagen, the substance that make up our gums, our lips, and health of skin. In addition to the main vitamins and minerals present in the bean, it also contains fibers and carbohydrates that keep away disease. The biggest health concerns in the black community are what is labeled as foodborne diseases, heart disease, and diabetes. In fact, 40% of all the deaths from the coronavirus were diabetics. And you know the most honorable Elijah Muhammad warned us about sugar. He warned us about keeping white stuff out of our mouth. White sugar. White flour, white potatoes, white pasta, white girls, white boy. Keep, keep white stuff out your mouth if you want to be healthy. Okay, back to the Navy bean. The dietary fibers in the Navy bean produce an environment in the human body that keeps things in line. With diabetes, the dietary fibers in the navy bean provide a low glycemic index for the body, making it slower to raise blood sugar. With it being slower to raise blood sugar, it can help rehabilitate the pancreas's ability to regulate blood sugar and the same for high blood pressure and cholesterol. This is the navy bean. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the diet of God. This is the age reversing, disease preventing. This is that handbook that is designed by God, given to the most honorable Elijah Muhammad to help us attain perfect health as the original people of the planet. I thank you so much that are present in Mas Maryam. I thank the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I thank all of you in the viewing audience. Thank you for sharing space and time with us this morning. I want to close with this quote from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan to let you know that no matter how long and how bad we've been messing up, that we can, in fact, be redeemed. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan says this, whatever illness you have, I have or we have, if we put our faith and our trust in Allah and act in accord with his will, you can be healed of any disease. There is no sickness Allah cannot heal. So you that have any afflictions, lift your heads. Don't you go out of here thinking this is the end. This is the beginning. You make up your mind. This beautiful body is the living house of the living God. Go from this place and make up your mind. 
I'll never put an ounce of swill in this house of the living God ever again. Away with the cigarettes. Away with alcohol. Away with grease and grime. Filthy food. Away with fat. When you look at that fat on yourself, you're looking at a Satan that is robbing you of life. Get rid of it intelligently through proper diet. I recommend everyone get the book by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, How to Eat to Live, and then get some exercise every day. We are not taking your How to Eat to Live, book one and book two. We already got Master Farad. Thank you for listening. I greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum. All praise is due to Allah. All praise due to Allah. Weapon of God. The protection against our inner that was being prepared, the protection against the testosterone conspiracy and the estrogen assault that will be operationalized after 1967. The protection that he established for his muqtadun, the followers of the Mahdi, wasn't the ship flying in the sky. It was the diet. It was the diet that he prescribed for the nation of Islam, the Purple Gang, the Jewish lords of Detroit, they control alcohol and the drug trade. The alcohol they got from the Brothman family of Seagram's. who would later be part of the weaponization of hip hop. Edgar Brothman of Seagrams. Why is that important here? The Purple Gang was distributing Brothman's liquor. They were distributing to black people drugs and now we know that alcohol estrogenizes you and me, brother. The alcohol and the heroin, these chemicals, they do more than just get you high. They do more than just feminize you. The heroin depleted testosterone, the alcohol increases aromatase, the enzyme that transforms testosterone into estrogen. And so it is not by accident that the Jewish gang that the Savior targeted were peddling among us the chemicals that will eventually be the money shot for the testosterone conspiracy and the estrogen assault. Drugs pushed through hip hop. Drugs and alcohol pushed through hip hop is the money shot for the testosterone conspiracy and the estrogen assault. The antidote, the antidote to the protection, other than the abstinence, we be real clear, abstaining from that weed is the first protection, bro. Did you get that? Abstaining from the weed the weaponized weed that feminizes. Abstaining is the first protection. Abstaining from the chemicals is the first protection, but all of the environment has been poisoned. The very air has been poisoned. So how are the people of the Mahdi to be protected? He prepared for us between 1930 and 1934 while Satan was, during that same time period, producing the chemicals to be weaponized against us, 
that God was preparing for us the antidote to all of those chemicals. The Navy bean, get you some bean soup, bruh. The milk. Slide, please. Slide, please. The navy bean and the whole milk replaces precisely those biochemicals that are assaulted and depleted by Satan's work. And this is why, slide please. This is why the Mahdi's people look as they look. This is why our Mahdudun, the people of the Mahdi. This is the people of the Mahdi. This is the effect of the work of the Mahdi. And so I say in closing, because the establishment of justice in the earth is the aim of the Mahdi's rising from his throne. The people of the Mahdi, the Muqtadun, must be uncompromisingly committed to the principle of justice. We in the nation of Islam are the people of the Mahdi. That means every one of us, from the student laborers to the rank and file, husbands, mothers, brothers, we all must safeguard the principle of justice among us and among our people as if it is a religious duty, because indeed it is because justice or else starts in the house and it starts in the home. Assalamu alaikum, family. <laughs> Let's give student minister Wesley Muhammad Another warm round of applause. He presented a lot of scientific evidence and proof, empirical data that backs up what we have been taught from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Student Minister Wesley Muhammad, give him another warm round of applause. He has a couple of questions to ask us before we close with prayer. How many of you are here for your first, second, or third time visiting Muhammad's Mosque? May I see your hands? First, second, or third time, praise belongs to Allah. Thank you, family. We are honored beyond words by your presence. We do hope that you come back and join us again. How many of you believe what you heard today was true? May I see your hands if you believe you're not obligated to hold such belief? How many believe that this truth is good for black people? May I see your hands? Praise belongs to Allah. So we're inviting you then if you Accept what you heard as not only true, but good for black people. We're inviting you to join us, join the Honorable Brother Minister Farrakhan, join the Muqtadun, the people of the Mahdi. We're inviting you today to join the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in the Nation of Islam. How many of you here for your first, second, and third time are ready to join us and join the Honorable Brother Minister Farrakhan this morning? May we see your hands? 
none this morning. Well, praise be lost to Allah. We pray that you will continue to visit us, continue to hear Brother Student Minister Ishmael Muhammad, the Student National Assistant of the Honorable Brother Minister Farrakhan. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Our brother imparted a lot of knowledge. He is a brother that you can tell by his presentations. He spends countless hours researching and what he presents to us represents the hard work and the countless hours because to get that information and going all the way back in centuries, not just a few decades, centuries to bring that evidence before us. But I say all of that because in two hours that he spoke, it was a lot. But not a lot for the time that we're living in and not a lot for the truth that our people need and that we heard today. So go back at your leisure to NOI.org and you can replay today. So points that were missed, you can go back and with the slides, you can pause, you know, at your leisure to go over the information and the data, but you have heard the truth. And the truth that you heard will set you free. So let's give student minister Wesley Muhammad another well-deserved round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brother Jason will close uh, with, a, with a couple of announcements. Now, uh, man, that jolly good time of year is approaching. You better not go and have, if you have a Christmas tree in your house, you should be ashamed of yourself. And a white Santa Claus, oh. Santa Claus more popular during this season than Jesus, and it's supposed to be the celebration and observance of the birth of Jesus, and you let Santa Claus come in to your house, you better take that white Santa Claus out of your house. But next Sunday, to be the will of Allah, I'd like to talk about, he came with the great subject, who is God? But don't you want to know who Jesus is? So next Sunday, our subject is, who is Jesus? The true history of Jesus. So the birth of Jesus and this day that is celebrated, we want to share with you the real truth of the man Jesus that many of us love and are attempting to follow. So come back next week, invite your family, your friends, and we're gonna have a good pre-Christmas sermon here at Mas Mariam, and spread the message in this season from your brother, Minister Farrakhan, be kind, be kind. That's all God is asking us to do, is to be kind. Thank you again for lending us your ear and joining us today as we turn you into the hands of student minister, Jason Kareem. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Brother Ishmael.